So recently I made a post in a Facebook group called Freediving, which is pretty popular. I'm making a list of deep pools in the world. So far I came up with the following and then I gave a couple of deep pools in the world. If I'm missing anything, please add. And I got 150 comments. So it seems like you guys appreciated the topic. So I decided to make a video about it. The top 45 deepest pools in the world coming up. What's up guys, in this video all about the deepest pools in the world, I'm gonna give you a structured overview so you don't have to go look and Google. You will find all the deepest pools in this video, but before we continue, thank you so much for all the people that have contributed in this Facebook group Freediving. Thanks to your input, this video is actually becoming a reality. So thank you, Freediving community. If you're new to this channel, my name is Gerd Leroy, helping you master freediving. So let's jump straight into this video before I start giving you the list of the actual existing pools, pools where you can go freediving. Let's talk first about three pools that might become the deepest but are not yet built. So first of all, Deep Dive Dubai. Uh, DDD is a unique world-class privately owned recreational diving facility giving divers a unique experience of the underwater world. So this pool will be at least uh, 60 meters deep. I don't know what that means, at least, so it's probably going to be deeper than 60, but it's not built yet. In Google reviews, there is a guy, Mohammed, and this guy is saying this building's name become Deep Dive Dubai, DDD. So that's actually how I found the information about it. Then there's another guy, Amar Cajes, who says, this building is under construction. Actually, I am working on that project. So I wasn't sure if they were making this pool yet. So apparently the name of this pool is also called uh, Pearl Diving Pool. So you can easily Google it to see the location. Next, we have Blue Abyss in the UK. Let's take a look at uh, what DeeperBlue.com has to say. New location for Blue Abyss facility announced. Plans for the UK getting a new really, really deep pool called Blue Abyss, making it the largest facility of its kind in the world, appearing to be moving forward with a new location now slated for Liverpool. So this pool should be 50 meters deep. Check out a concept video below released in 2016 produced by, yeah, so this is actually uh, an article from Deeper Blue from 2019. So that is the last news or the latest news that we heard from this. So I don't really know if they have started uh, building this pool yet. I have heard from some people on Facebook in the freediving group that this is not the case. So we can only wait and See. Blue Abyss is among the most groundbreaking projects of its time. The state-of-the-art facility aims to become the world's premier deep sea and space extreme environment research training and test center. And then here on this uh, nice little image we find on the website, we see multi-level functionality including Astrolab at 12 meters. Then we have 50 meters at the deepest point. So that's going to be the deepest pool in Europe. Training experience mock-ups pool 50 meters by 40 meters on the surface. This is going to be a huge project if they actually realize it. So fingers crossed. And then a third one, Dieppe, I hope I pronounced it right because it's all in French now. Uh, also 50 meters, an aquarium XXL, we can understand that. I mean, if you don't speak French. Et la plus grande fosse de plongée d'Europe en projet à Dieppe. So the biggest uh, dive tank in Europe. Planifié pour 2019. So it's planned for 2019. It's obviously not built yet. En France, un nouveau record devrait également être établi en 2023. So now according to this text, which I found on uh, Wikipedia, it should be be uh, finished in 2023. By the way, guys, for the French people, let me know about my pronunciation. Is it good? Is it bad? Let me know in the comments. All right, and let us proceed now to the actual deepest pool in the world, which is deep spot 45 meters in Poland. And it actually opened last weekend, the 21st of November, 2020. So this is a video from the construction works that I got from the website of deep spot itself. So it's huge. There's a lot going on. It's not just uh, 45 meters deep. There's a lot of other rooms and chains you can go in. There is a boat. It looks super cool. I would really love to be there. I could easily spend days and days there. So I hope they have a hotel nearby. I hope to be there very soon when the borders open. So let's take a look at their website. Deep spot, new dimension of diving, free diving, under construction. Test training session in deep spot by free boy. Let's see what this guy can show us on his camera. Oh, pretty cool. And some free immersion back up. And this is another video I took from a CGTN, the complex named Deep Spot is the world's deepest structure of this kind and it even includes a small wreck for scuba and free divers to explore. It has 8,000 cubic meters of water, more than 20 times the amount in an ordinary 25 meter pool. And then the previous deepest pool in the world to 42 meters Y40 in Italy. This is a video I took from the YouTube channel of uh, Y40. Super cool pool, 42 meters deep. Let's take a look at the website. So we see here uh, Umberto Palizzari, Y40 dive 
maps, Y40 The Deep Joy offers the world's first interactive 3D maps for freedivers and scuba divers. And this is a video from a Tiefenflieger about Deep Joy, Deep Joy Y40, 33 degrees Celsius, Wassertemperatur. I bet this must be German. Water temperature, 33 degrees Celsius. I don't speak German either, you know. Apart from um, 99 Luftballons of Ihrem Weg zum Horizont. Denkst du vielleicht gerade an mich, dann singe ich ein Lied für dich. And then to 33 meters from my own country, Belgium, Nemo 33. So let's take a look at their website. It's not that easy to book a session, believe me. Um, it's also not that easy to know when exactly you can free dive there. There used to be a time when you could only go on a Sunday evening between 7 and 9 p.m., which wasn't exactly client friendly. Friendly, but <laughs> I mean who wants to go freediving on a Sunday evening? I bet there's guys now who are saying me, 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 I want to go. So I think they, well I don't think, I'm pretty sure they changed it now um, and they added Tuesday because I've been there on a Tuesday in between the first and the second COVID-19 wave. So they're closed again but when we were open in between two waves I went there on a Tuesday evening. Uh, you have to go into the website, find your way and then uh, with a little bit of luck you will find the online booking system. So. Anyway, Nemo 33, I like it a lot. Then to 26 meters, K26 in Korea. Korea Freedivers team training at K26 November. Oh, that's recent, November 2020. No pandemic going on there. Oh, I like the colors. I like the way they saturated this video. Look at the color, the, the redness of this uh, rope. I love it. Is there something wrong with me? I mean, most people will look at the girl. I'm looking at the rope. Am I okay? Oh, nice hat. I like it with the cat ears. Let's take a look at the website. English version, that's very nice for Korean websites. Water quantity, 2,600 tons. Oh, and a different steps, water depth to 26 meters. And we got some nice plans of how the whole thing is set up. And then to 21 meters, Dive Cube Hotel in Taiwan. This is about the construction. Mission impossible, but it became possible. Dive Cube Hotel. So this is the uh, official website, divecube.com.taiwan. Looking good with the map. Go check it out. And here we have a video from a vertical freedivers in Taiwan from our French fellow freediver Anthony who has by the way a couple of ebooks on Amazon about how to hold your breath longer apnea training dive cube Tai Chung I don't speak Taiwan either nice dive tank it doesn't have to be deep to be cool you know come and join us I hope one day I will and that's Anthony doing some no fins to 20 meters dive for life in Germany and here is our website they have a shark in dive for life I wouldn't go there if I was you okay Okay, so this guy's going down in Dive for Life. Looks cool, looks a bit like... Um... No, I'm not gonna say it yet because I'm gonna feature this pool I was about to talk about later in this video. You're gonna see. It looks a bit like another pool. But if I was in Germany, I would definitely go check this one out. What would we freedivers do without a rope? I don't know. If you pass by a camera, you have to you have to show people that you're okay. You have to do this. This is mandatory in freediving. Okay, Nemo 33, Shen on Samin Genève. First of all, I probably pronounced it completely wrong, but haven't I mentioned uh, Nemo 33 yet? Well, I just discovered there is another Nemo 33 which is actually only 20 meters deep, but why do they call it Nemo 33? Because the owner of this Nemo 33 is the same owner as the Nemo 33 in Belgium. And this one is called Nemo 33 Genève, or Genève? How do, you, how do you say this in English? Genève? Which is in Switzerland, but it's actually not in Genève, it's just on the left side, where is the border. If you take a look at the map, you'll see it's in France. So it's not 33 meters and it's not in Switzerland but I do call it Nemo 33 Genève. So there is a Nemo 33 in France 220 meters and it used to be called Go and See so if you google Go and See then you will find Nemo 33. <laughs> <laughs> so here is a Facebook page. It obviously looks different than the Nemo 33 in Belgium. Nemo 33, Genève. Bonjour à tous. It's in French. Fosse de plongée profondeur 20 mètres. So diving tank, depth 20 meters. This is how it looks like. Not bad. They have like bottom plates and bottom weights. Oh, that's like a, a kettlebell. Clear water. Visibility is all fine. But that's not the only pool to 20 meters in France. In fact, there are a lot of pools in France. The amount of pools in that country is completely disproportionate with actually the lack of pools in other countries. There must be something in the French culture. I thought it was about eating cheese and drinking wine in France. So instead of going over the whole list, which will be super boring, I'm just gonna give you the list, you know? So the link will be in the description. There you will find all the pools to 20 meters. Then we go on 18 meters in Quebec. Institut Maritime du Québec, École Nationale, National School. This is obviously like a professional uh, spot to train people for the Navy, stuff like that. Not sure if this is a commercial pool. And I actually found a 
video about this. I had to look quite good on uh, YouTube, but uh, hey, Sherlock Holmes finds what he wants to find. It's a quite old video. So this is what we have. 16 meters in Jakarta, Indonesia, Tribuana. Now, honestly, I didn't know about this one and I've been a couple of times in Jakarta. And if I would have known, then I would have probably gone there and just uh, go for a, for a little fun dive. So if you guys are traveling around the world and you're in a city and you're going to city trip with your girlfriend and uh, Friday evening is going well, but Saturday evening you're like, I just want to go freediving. So, well, here you got a video telling you where are the freediving pools in different cities in the world. So, let's see what we have here. Little training session, Tribuana, Jakarta. This is first uh, dynamic. We're not interested in dynamic. We want to go deep. There we have it. Whenever we see a rope, we know we're going to go deep. And all this time I was in Jakarta wondering what the hell I was doing there. There was a dive tank waiting for me and I didn't know. Oh, so they have a Facebook page as well, Tribuana Dive Center. You can look up the exact address 50 meters dive tank Belgium and in my language that is duik tank again in Belgium we do have a couple of dive tanks so here we have a video of uh, Gerd Leer oh that's my video if you haven't seen this video yet then shame on you so this is my dive buddy Philip we filmed this actually uh, after the first lockdown that's why it's called first free dive after lockdown crystal clear water remember when I was talking about uh, dive for life in Germany that was a little bit same looking that it reminded me of uh, another dive tank well look at this Atlantis. Look at this little roof. It's exactly the same entrance. Really cool. It's only 50 meters only. This is pretty awesome. I really like it. It's a very freediver friendly environment. You can go there every day. This is the back of a dive tank. So behind the wall, it's a bit behind the scenes, but it's also very nice. Let's take a look at the website. Uh, Transfo. So this dive tank is actually called Transfo Duck Tank. Right now it's 21 degrees Celsius, but yeah, we are uh, almost December. So in summertime, it was 24 degrees. You can read about the history of dive tank transfo 15 meters Kirkburg Luxembourg Luxembourg guys this this is a hard video for me to make you know okay let's take a look at the website uh, aquatic center D cock all right, all right, so here we go. Yeah, this is French, you know. So these French people, when they invent words, then they never understand that in other languages it might actually mean something else, so French people. So this is a real nice place with different swimming pools, and it also has a diving pool 26 degrees Celsius, 15 meters. So this is how the cock in Luxembourg looks like. Pretty blue, if you ask me. And another one, 15 meters in Montreal. Parc Olympique, le centre sportif. This is actually an educational uh, video on French. When it was inaugurated in 1976. So this is very old. It is, ah, uh, here we have it. It is currently closed and a decision on its renovation is pending. So most likely it didn't reopen yet. 12 meters in Moscow. MCHS. This was quite difficult to find any information, but here we have it. MCHS. S uh, stands for, I'm going to take a deep breath now, Moscow in the Academy of Civil Defense of the Russian Ministry of Civil Defense, Emergencies and Disaster Relief. They have different pools and they have also a pool with a depth of 12 meters. What is unusual about this facility is that both pools hold water from a well located 190 meter underground and the pools are made of stainless steel. In addition, a glass dome covers the deep cylindrical pool. How cool is that? Okay, 10 meters, toady again in Belgium. So here we have the website, the ultimate experience toady. So the cool thing about this, I've never been there, but I've seen videos, of course. So they have actual living fish in the water and they have car wrecks and stuff like that. So um, this is actually cool. Oh, they have a, a train, under, an underwater train. Uh, there's a car. I really want to go there. We are doing fine. Told you, free divers have to show that they are okay. High five. This was toady. Another 10 meter pool, dive worlds in the Netherlands. So this looks to be outside. Or is this inside? Well, at least I have like a place to sit and have a drink, probably a restaurant as well. It looks like it's outside, but I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments if anyone knows about this place. Who's from Holland and who has been diving here? Give us a nice comment. Say hello. What do we have down there? Oh, we have like a, a ring to swim through. So there is there is some stuff to do. Yeah, why not? 10 meters, why not? Oh, they have like a shopping cart. I'm not sure if that was part of the plan. And then we have another pool to 10 meters in Germany. Tauch Turn Wittenberge. I don't speak German. Let's take a look at the Facebook page, Indoor Tauch Turm Wittenberge. We know it actually exists now because they have a Facebook page. They have some recent posts, so they are operating November. Yeah, 
showing everything is fine, pinching the nose and going for the free fall. So he reached the bottom pretty quickly, it's because it's only 10 meters. And then again we have another bunch of pools in France between 10 and 15 meters. I'm gonna spare you from naming them all separately, so the link is in the description. Go check it out. There are 13 of them, so it's, it's incredible the number of pools in France. And if you want to know more about mastering free diving, then hit the round subscribe button here. And here I have a video of diving in dive tank in Belgium. So go ahead and click on that. That's it guys. See you next time. Peace in every breath.